All right, so this is how we are going to set up all the tech for a Sunday service at Christchurch Howick. The first thing we want to do is you come to the back of the church over here and we want to turn on this plug point. And that will then turn on all the other plug points around the church. Also, just make sure that this one is on because this goes straight to the sound desk. On the sound desk, you should then see that these lights are on. So that means the sound desk is turned on. You want to make sure that these two blue sliders are at level negative five. You want to make sure that the phones is set to a quarter of the way up. Right, then we need to come to the front of the church and turn on these speakers. They can't be turned on until the back of the church is turned on, otherwise it will damage the speakers and possibly blow them out. So that is the on button over there at the back, and you'll see the little screen lights up at the top. None of these settings need to be changed. They are left as is always. Now we're going to go to the other one as well. And then the same button on the speaker as well. And you'll see the little screen light up. Please remember to only do that after you've turned on the plug point at the back. Okay, now we are going to go to the front laptop, which is next to the pulpit. And we're going to open this up. You've got to make sure that this is plugged in. This is the power cable running to the wall. You've got to make sure that the HDMI cable is plugged in. And you've got to make sure that this aux cable is plugged in. And this aux cable runs through to a box over here. Um, and just make sure that that stays plugged in as well. If there is a passcode that you need to enter to get into the laptop, it is 2552 um, to get in. This is the little dongle. Um, that is used to control the slide, so make sure that you leave that plugged in as well. And once we have this up and running, make sure that it's connected to the internet. You'll see um, this internet symbol down here. If any antivirus stuff pops up, just close it. Then we need to get the slideshow going, so we open Chrome. We're going to have to go onto Google Drive. So open a new tab, click these dots over here, click on Drive. Now we need to find the latest slideshow for this coming Sunday. So you click on these buttons over here. The top we want to set to presentation. We want to say it has been modified in the last seven days. And this should show us just a few presentations and then you should be able to tell by the name of the document which one is the correct one. So here's the morning service slideshow that I'm going to open. Now at this point we want to turn on the projector for the building. So this is the remote for the projector and this is the button we want to click. And You should see a blue light turn on on the projector and then slowly it will start lighting up the screen behind the pulpit. Um, it does take a while for the bulb to warm up, so I uh, could just take a moment. Okay, so go into Chrome and open a new tab, and then we're gonna go over here to click on Gmail. And then this will open up the church's emails and we're going to search for the word panelist like that. And what you're going to do is click on the very latest panelist email, the most recent at the top, and it'll open this screen. We scroll down and you should find this over here. Join from PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, and you click here to join. And that should then open up the Zoom application. There we go. And now you've got to wait for um, Shane to let us into the meeting. All right, once you have been led into the Zoom meeting, you'll see this window and we're going to say join with computer audio. And then, very importantly, we're going to mute ourselves over here. We're going to make sure that this is muted and also that the video is off. Then what we want to do is we want to put um, this slideshow into presentation mode. It's important that you only do this after there are no other changes to be made. 
So just check with the preacher that there are no changes to be made. And then we go over here and we hit this drop down and we say presenter view. That'll open two things. One is this little window over here, which we're going to keep on the laptop screen. But this is the main window, which has the PowerPoint. So we're going to move that onto the projector screen. We do that by grabbing the toolbar up at the top here and drag it off of the top and we start sliding it across past the edge of the screen and then you should see it start coming up here. Now we have the screen on the projector and we're going to double click or click the maximize button to make this full screen and then we are going to move our cursor to the bottom left of the projector screen where usually there will be nothing but when you move your cursor there this little a uh, capsule box appears with three dots that you can click. So you click those three dots and you say enter full screen. And now the slideshow is full screen on the projector screen. And then we're going to carry on setting up the laptop over here. This is the speaker notes section. So we are going to also maximize that. But then this panel we want to be much bigger. So there is a very small three dots and a line margin going down. We're going to hover over that until we can see that we can click and drag to make it as large as possible. It should fill up half the screen. And now these are the speaker notes. Okay, now we want to share the screen. So the PowerPoint screen at the back, we want to share it onto Zoom. So we click the screen up arrow, which will bring up this window. We want to click screen two that we share. And you should see that it has whatever slide is um, behind the preacher. It should appear over here. And then you want to make sure that share sound is ticked and optimize for video clip is also ticked. And then you can say share. That should move all your zoom controls to being at the top of the screen. Um, these controls should stay there, but if they keep on hiding away, then all you'll have to do is move your cursor to the middle at the top of the screen, just under the webcam over here, and then these controls will pop back up if they do keep on hiding away. Now we want to adjust the audio settings. So we want to go across to where the microphone symbol is for muting and unmuting, and you actually want to click this little arrow just to the side of it and you want to say audio settings down at the bottom here. Okay, on audio settings, it's very important that this little button is clicked where we use a separate audio device for the ringtone. If it is not clicked, then this is all you'll see over here, but we want to make sure that it is ticked. We want to make sure that the top um, speaker selection is this Optima, um, which is actually the HDMI port which goes to the projector. So there's a few different options here, but just make sure that it's on Optima and also make sure that it is um, pretty much muted, that this volume slider is all the way down. But then for this next one, it's very important that this speaker has been selected as speaker headphone jack. So make sure that that is selected here and this one has to be full volume. So yeah, just make sure about that. The microphone doesn't really matter because we won't be using that. All right, that should be all for setting up the pulpit laptop in the front. We're now going to go to the laptop at the back. All right, so the laptop at the back should be provided by Shane or one of the staff. And you should be able to log in with details provided to you. And what we're going to do to set this up is to also go um, into Zoom. So we're going to open up Chrome. We're going to go to Gmail again. This time I'll just type in gmail.com. We're going to type in the word panelist. And you click on the most recent one and then further down on the email there should be this link over here click here to join once again we're going to do that and it should automatically open the zoom application now you're going to wait for shane to let you into the webinar okay once you've been let in 
you need to join with computer audio and then what you need to do is you make sure that this dongle over here is plugged into a USB port on the laptop. So I've got a USB port over here that I'm going to plug it into. And once it's plugged in, you should see a green light over here. Um, this dongle has got two holes, one for microphone and one for headphone. Um, we are going to plug in the black cable into the microphone port and then plug in nothing into the headphone. So the headphone needs to be left empty. This black cable is the one that leads through to the phone's port on the sound desk. So when you turn that to a quarter volume, that is for the Zoom meeting. So this sound goes into the Zoom meeting. And now we need to make sure that on Zoom side that it is picking up the right device. So you make sure that the video is left off over here as well, but the microphone must be turned on. And then you click on this microphone up arrow and you've got to make sure that it is saying USB PNP device. Um, that means that it is going to use this dongle and not your computer speakers. So make sure it says it over there and over here as well by speaker. Also USB PNP and then that should be all you have to do from this side. Alright, so we have adjusted the audio settings in Zoom's settings, but we also need to adjust the audio settings from Windows. Um, so you go over to Windows' volume, which is this little speaker icon in the bottom right of your screen, and that will show you your different um, output options for the sound. So you want to click on this arrow, it will show you all the different um, options, and we're going to click speaker headphone over here. This is at the pulpit laptop, but you must do the same thing at the laptop at the back of the church. Again, go into the Windows sound options and make sure that that one is set to USB PNP sound device. Okay, so using the sound desk on a Sunday morning is pretty simple. We only use a few of these cha channels. So we use channel one, and that is for the pulpit microphone for the guy up front, and for that, we want both of these buttons to be on. So the top one turns the channel on, and then the next one, PFL, sends that sound into the Zoom meeting. So we want to turn that on as well. By turning it on, we are actually just pressing the button in. So this is what they look like when they are not on, and then when they are on, they get pressed in deeper like that. So we want that to be on, that's channel one. Then we have the reader's mark, which is channel 9, that's the pulpit to the side of the church. And again, we want both PFL on and the top button on as well. And then we have channel 12, which is the pulpit laptop. Um, and this is used for when they are playing a video from the laptop at the front. But for this, we only want the top button on, we don't want PFL on. Now, when we are going to play a song, then we have to change these over here. And you have to be very quick um, to be able to change them in time for the song to start and for it to end. So as soon as the song is about to start, we need to turn off the pulpit and the reader. So that's both of these buttons need to be turned off. And then for the reader as well, both of these buttons turned off. And then we need to turn on the piano, just the PFL because we can already hear it through the building, so we don't need the top one. And we also want this channel to be turned on. This is the overhead mark. It picks up the congregation singing. There's tape over it here because we don't want to turn the volume up in the building, so we only turn the bottom button on, not the top, the top one. So now we have the piano and the congregation going through the Zoom meeting, but then as soon as the song is over, and before um, the preacher or the host speaks the next words, you need to be able to turn these off very quickly and turn the pulpit ones on immediately and then also the reader. Okay, we're going to set up the webcam that we use in the morning service. Um, so we're going to need this tripod, which can always be found in Andy's office. And we're also going to need the cell phone that we use for the webcam. This cell phone will either be on charge over here, resting on 
um, this orange container or it'll be found in the top drawer of my dad's um, desk and then we're going to take these through to the hall all right so now to get the zoom meeting set up on the phone we're going to turn it on you swipe up and then we're going to draw a tick so you can follow my finger we go down and up diagonally um, and then from here we are going to look for a panelist email so we have to open the gmail app so we click in the google folder here's the gmail app and we're going to uh, make sure that the wi-fi is on so at the moment airplane mode is on let's turn airplane mode off and wi-fi is on all right so inside the gmail app we're going to search for the word panelist um, it's actually been searched for before so you can just click on that and then we're going to click on the most recent email um, that comes up in the results and in this email if you scroll further down you should see this blue link over here that says click here to join and we're going to click that and it'll open up the zoom app all right you, sh you should see this screen um, on zoom which you'll see until the host of the meeting usually shane webb lets you into the meeting okay once you get let into the zoom meeting you should see this appear this is what is showing to the rest of the the church on zoom and you're going to click here join audio wi-fi or cellular data click on that but now you are unmuted by default so it is very important to mute yourself over here and we are going to turn on the video there we go so now the video is on but you can't see what you are videoing so you have to swipe over and there you can see where the camera is pointed um, if that camera is pointed at your face then you are using the selfie camera and just click on that camera switch icon and then it'll switch to using the back camera so now what we want to do is we want to mount this in the tripod um, so that it can be pointed at the at the preacher so on the tripod you will see this little audio device and that is tied onto the tripod with a fishing wire and we want to plug that into the headphone jack make sure it plugs in all the way until it clicks and that is to stop the cell phone from um, playing noise during the church service and then we are going to clip it in to this clip over here what you do is you position the top of the clip um, in the middle of the phone just after the power button you don't want the the clip to actually press on the power button otherwise it'll turn off the phone so you press that on and then you push the phone up which will extend the clip and then you let it rest inside this padded bracket over here this can now then be controlled like this to go backwards and forwards up and down and you can extend the heart if need be